first, I'm uh, so excited that the first summit of the Forbes under 30 is uh, being held at Juna, uh, Laguna in Egypt. Uh, this is very good. Uh, as for the um, agreement we have signed with Forbes, we are quite also excited about it as a National Training Academy and as the World Youth Forum. I believe we will exchange lots of uh, benefits and experiences and adding value to each other. Uh, we hope that the Forbes will uh, add value being one of our media partners in the upcoming uh, World Youth Forum uh, soon, inshallah. Um, we have also discussed uh, with Forbes having uh, experts from their sides, uh, content uh, participating in content development uh, for the World Youth Forum and its different topics, uh, getting some investors from the region to uh, uh, support our uh, World Youth Forum labs and uh, our startup veins our, the, and the young entrepreneurs we invite from all over the world to be part of our World Youth Forum activities every year. I would believe that uh, the youth are uh, living their golden era <laughs> throughout the past uh, few years because uh, our reaction to the youth, their dreams, their hopes, their, uh, their requests and their, uh, their demands is just natural because we are a very lucky country with uh, over 60 million under 40. So we are really a very young country. So our main asset uh, and uh, non-abundant fortune, the real fortune we're having are our youth. So we have been re very responsive as a country to the youth, uh, starting with uh, establishing the National Training Academy, which was an idea uh, from uh, the youth to the president, where he was very responsive. And we have the National Training Academy, which is the hub of so many initiatives and uh, programs and forums, like the World Youth Forum, which is also another request from our uh, youth, uh, our graduates uh, of the presidential leadership program, while the National Youth Forum, we have requested from the president to give them the floor to communicate with the youth around the world and here started the World Youth Forum in 2017 with its first version and it's continuing every year, thankfully. Uh, we have a beautiful initiative uh, called the Haya Karima. It's, uh, it's also uh, started and managed uh, by the youth. Uh, it handles uh, the, the poverty and the unprivileged citizens all over Egypt in different villages. Uh, giving solutions and uh, getting funds for uh, developing proper homes, hospitals, uh, schools, infrastructures for these people uh, in different uh, parts in Egypt. We also have IBDA or START initiative that is mainly concerned with uh, SME, startups and entrepreneurs that will promote uh, the idea of entrepreneurship and startups and uh, for, for youth to start their businesses, uh, facilitating getting investors or getting uh, uh, loan facilitations from uh, the banks in, uh, in Egypt. In a nutshell, this is a part, few of our uh, contributions to uh, developing and pro supporting our youth. We believe in, uh, in, uh, in education training, we believe in enhancing skills. We do this through the National Training Academy different programs. Uh, so entrepreneurial skills, uh, innovation, creative thinking, transformative technologies are part of all our programs uh, to, to all our uh, beneficiaries and uh, trainees, who, which are more than 28,000 by now throughout the past four years. Uh, because we uh, follow the latest approach of training in the world, which is interdisciplinary and multidisciplinary approaches where you mix all disciplines in one pot, our main objective is not only to qualify entrepreneurs to have their own projects, our main objective is to let our youth have an entrepreneur mindset. If the entrepreneur mindset, what matters is not that you have your own project only. You can be an entrepreneur in your company, you can be an entrepreneur in a bank, you can be an entrepreneur in a multinational or a corporate or even in the government which is most important to us.